Um, IB is a college-bound course that really helps prepare their kids for what's after school. Um, I, personally, I think it's better than most programs that are available in other school districts and other schools um, in that preparation for college. Um, it's a very rigorous, it's very um, self-directed um, for the students. Um, they, a lot of responsibility is placed on the students, which again really prepares them for college when everything's placed on the student there. Uh, instead of being the prime deliverer of material, the teacher is a questioner, uh, a coach, a prodder, um, someone who stirs up conversation, who stirs up thought. Um, in seeing other IB programs at work, oftentimes the teacher walks in, the students are already ready to go, which is not often what we see in a regular classroom. And the students almost drive the day while the teacher functions as a, something like an air traffic controller, you know, keeping things moving, keeping things going, and then ultimately driving the whole thing toward a certain outcome. It's going to change how I approach my labs. Um, the kids are going to be given a little more freedom to determine um, what direction they're going to take the lab rather than the cookbook recipe labs that we've done in the past. Um, for IB Physics, for example, they'll be able to go into more topics, um, things that might pique their interest more, get students more interested in science, and personally I think they're going to prepare them even better for college because it's set up almost like exactly a college course would be run. Testing is um, very similar, the laboratories are very similar, um, so they're going to get a real good feel for what it's going to be like in college. Because I look at the IB program in a sense over two year period as being like the freshman year of college. And so it really is a, a big jump from working with a, a student that you know, is, is a sophomore and all of a sudden is being treated as a freshman in college. AP, you know, you still get the, the, the school grades, but in order to get any college credit you have to score on that test. So it's an all or none test for college credit. With IB, kids are going to be more relaxed because it's assessment throughout. Um, the grades that you get through school also count, uh, come into factor with the actual overall grade. And when that all assessment is done, you know, they're going to find out that you know, it's not all based on one test. So, and I'm not trying to discount AP at all. AP attracts a certain type of kid. I think IB attracts a different type of kid that wants to be more involved in the actual curriculum and it's not all about one test. So I think IB is actually more beneficial for a broader spectrum of students than AP is. Uh, one of the things about IB is that they have a, a world focus, a universal focus, and we have students here from, from all over the planet, and they have parents and relatives, and so they, they come already with a global perspective, but now we can show them how that's a benefit and not a disadvantage, and so, um, Things like diversity that we always say that we're celebrating, we can, we can actually use. And we can actually show how that's um, important to what you know and how you learn it and um, where you go when you're done. <laughs> I am super excited about IB coming to the school. I think it's going to be so great for our students. It's really going to, I think, help some students that maybe don't necessarily blossom, just come right out of their shell. I think it's an awesome opportunity, the IB program at West, because it's so accessible to so many students. Not just the higher level students, you know, the 3.5s and above, but other students also. Well, instead of it being teacher directed, teacher driven all the time, there is a lot of space in IB for students to choose subjects, for students to decide where they're going to learn and how they're going to learn it. Teachers function oftentimes as coaches. And uh, I, I think you get a lot of depth of knowledge with those types of pursuits rather than a skimming of the surface of everything at a very low level. This is going to allow them to cater to their education and take that under their own control. So. I think students are going to benefit from IB because there's so many different ways a student learns and I think IB taps into all those ways. You know, there's analytical thinking, creative thinking, and those are two different types of students if you are, you know, very analytical or very creative. And I think IB suits those students in every way. Um, again, seeing other IB programs at work inside regular schools, that 
community of learners, the students, since they take so many classes with each other, they know each other really well. So arguments that start in one class drift over to another class. That teacher makes use of those, puts it into a different framework, and a similar conversation might be going on in pieces all day long. And I think that having this at our school will be a, a, a great thing for West. It will be a great thing for the Green Bay Public Schools. And I think great things for students. I think it's an exciting uh, opportunity for students to really get an in-depth look at uh, the curriculum that they're studying. I tend to be skeptical of a lot of the educational innovation that seems to come through our classroom doors. About every four or five years we seem to change and add something new and it seems that we come full circle and end up teaching some of the same styles and procedures we taught five, ten years ago. As I worked with students at Manitowoc and as I've talked to teachers in Minnesota, um, this program is a little bit different. It's been around for a good 25 years. It's not just a fly-by-night program. And there's an excitement out there that I haven't seen in uh, education for a long time. The students were excited about what they were doing. The teachers were excited. They admitted it was a lot of work, but they really felt as though there was a benefit, and they saw it. And the students that we talked to, um, they cared about one another. They cared about what other students thought because they recognized the fact that they were learning from each other as well as what a textbook might teach them. Start exploring this whole thing. I was very skeptical. I thought another program, another thing. And then I saw it, and I saw people working with it. And I knew that when I saw the students working with this program, that something different was going on. And the level of questioning, the level of thinking, the desire to learn, to grab knowledge, was very different than I saw in a regular school community. I'm not saying that regular school is wrong or bad. It's just that if you pull people out who have an interest to do this kind of work, you're going to have a special, powerful, highly engaging community to work with. I think it's going to be an awesome experience both for the staff and the students. And I think if anybody's um, interested in or considering IB at all, I think West would be a great place to be. We truly have an international flavor here already. And um, it just will be a neat experience for all involved. I just think this school has so much to offer, and there's so many hidden secrets here of all the great things that are at West. West is an awesome school. We have dedicated staff here. We have great students. You know, just uh, I can't wait for the program to start. And I'm hoping that there is a, a student enrollment out there that that first year uh, isn't just a handful that we actually have full class classes to deal with and that the program continues to grow uh, as a a parent you know I I think of the cost savings as enormous when we were in Minneapolis they talked about students entering the University of Minnesota as a sophomore an entire year of school you know completed while they were in high school and so I hope that some parents think seriously about you know the cost factor that this is a worthwhile program that colleges are recognizing its significance and that it has a, a world-class audience.